Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. You know why you clicked on this video. You're short. <laughs> or you're a taller dude, and you're just curious on how small dudes think. Anyways, fashion hits worldwide, and according to Google, the average height of a man is 5'6", and for America, it's 5'10". So I would say that your average dude that's into fashion is probably on the shorter side. And when it comes to being small, <laughs> Okay, there is a few things you have to think about more than your blessed six foot genetic lottery hitting fella. So that is why in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to look fly as a short guy. Bars. Before we get into it, if you guys can turn that like button blue so that the YouTube algorithm gods can bless this channel with love. It really helps my channel out. I truly appreciate it. And this video is also sponsored by Rose Gold and Black. And we'll talk about them later in this video. Okay, before we throw clothes on your body, your mindset is the most important thing. I know it's because I went through it, you know, as a, a five foot seven fella, I was very insecure about my heights and I would just let that hold me back. So you gotta stop thinking small and you have to start thinking big. So like I said, I know how it feels. It can easily turn into one of your biggest insecurities, especially with the ladies. And if you let that insecurity get to you, it's not gonna help you with the ladies at all. And it's also not gonna help you with your fashion. And let me tell you why. A lot of it just comes down to overcompensating. Whether it be overcompensating by buying so much hype and showing how much money you have, or you trying to be so alpha and the dominant one with that big dick energy. You wanna step outside? Hey. You wanna step outside? Huh? I'm not standing, pal. Overcompensating. Listen, guys, always trying to take up space, you know, having perfect posture 100% of the time, speaking in a neutral tone of voice. That ain't it. Believe me, I've gone through it. It's ridiculous. Your height is predetermined, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Literally, nothing can be done besides wearing footwear that does add some height. So don't focus on what you can do. Focus on what you can do. You can start working out, building that confidence within yourself. Learn how to socialize and maintain relationships. And just overall, being comfortable in your own skin, accepting all your flaws, will compensate, not overcompensate, for everything that sucks about being short. I like to think of it like this. There's these things that you can buy for your shoes that adds maybe an inch of height or so. Listen, buying something like that is just giving into your insecurity. In my opinion, of course. Like everyone uses Instagram nowadays. If you haven't followed me yet, Go ahead and follow me at Fly with Johnny Ty. But for the past few years, Instagram has turned into a, a comparison game. And then those stupid spams will prey into your insecurity, trying to sell you likes, followers, and views, and all that. That's the same thing. If you give into that, if you buy likes and followers and views, you're giving into your insecurity, and that's just ridiculous. Because accepting being short is what it really just comes down to. And hey, if you get some boots that add maybe an inch or two of height, that's totally cool. But don't buy boots just for the heights. You know, I think it should be that you appreciate the booth, the design and all that good stuff, and you feel like you can style it well. But that's just me, you do you. How I like to see it is like, if you're just a cool dude, then you're just a cool dude. The last thing I think about is how short you are. So now we got that mindset out the way. You know, that's like the biggest hurdle for a lot of guys, especially me since I struggled with that for years. But now let's dive into the fashion aspects of it and specifically color. For the most part, wearing a monochromatic or achromatic color theme is probably the way to go. Doing so is gonna show off a more uniform silhouette. It's not really going to make you taller or anything like that, but you're not gonna be able to tell where the torso ends or where the leg starts. And that's the benefits of wearing a solid color theme. And whenever you have a bunch of contrasting colors, there's going to be little breaks in your fit, which is going to show where your legs start. And if you have stumpy legs, yeah, you might look shorter if you care about that stuff. My go-to fit is always that gradient achromatic look, basically following that grayscale color spectrum. And if you want to know more about color blocking and colors that work, I will leave a link down below. And I will also have an upcoming video on my favorite color combinations coming very soon. As far as footwear goes, you guys know what already. You guys have heard it plenty of times. Anything that adds hype, boots, Air Force Ones, yada, yada, yada. Not much more to elaborate on that, but I would say just be careful with your high top sneakers. Boots are fine, of course, but with high top sneakers, just make sure they fit your proportions. What you don't want is a sneaker that goes halfway up your leg. Something like the Nike SF Air Force One High, that would definitely go halfway up my leg. It's just not a very good look and it's definitely not gonna fit your proportions if you're really short. And speaking of proportions, this concept is probably the most important thing to get down when it comes to fashion, especially if you're a short dude. So back in 2015, 2016, y'all remember what was trending back then? Scoop tees, long line tees, y'all remember that well let's just say it's horrible for dudes like us why because it messes up 
your proportions. Having an elongated T just extends way past your boy, making it look like your legs start lower and it's just thrown off. Also, the oversized fitment is popular right now and you can still rock it, but you just have to be a little bit careful. Check this oversized Carhartt shirt. It's a size large and its cut is meant for someone six foot and over. And for me, it extends past small Johnny. So to compensate for that, I have to wear chunkier shoes or anything that will extend my heights. So just keep that in mind whenever you pick out a piece that's a size or two larger. But the ideal shirt for the shorter dudes, if you want that oversized look, is going to be a boxy tee. And if you guys don't know what a boxy tee is, think of an oversized shirt, you know, that's loose fitting, but it hems at the waist area. This is going to make for better proportions because it fits like a normal t-shirt, but is loose fitting and not just two sizes up, which extends too far on your body. Like check out the shirt from Uniqlo. This is probably the best shirt if you're a shorter dude and you want that oversized look. You guys see what I mean? Now it's not to say you can't just size up on normal tees. I've done that myself. You're just gonna have to think about your proportions as you're styling the fit. For the pants, you're always gonna hear, oh, skinny jeans are going to make you look taller. It's going to elongate your legs. I've even said that. But does it really? I don't know. Honestly, having a nice pair of slim, skinny fitting denim, that's totally cool. But to only stick to that fitment, I don't know about that. And so let's just say I disagree with my old self. Regular fit, slim fit, straight fit, whatever it is, I would suggest trying out something other than fitted pants. Not only does it make your taste in fashion more diverse, it's more fun and you'll understand here in a sec. The only thing you gotta think about and the one thing that you wanna avoid is just heavy, heavy stacking because that can really, really throw off your proportions. Now the reason why you want a non-restrictive, slim, straight, relaxed, anything but skinny fitting pants is because of the sneaks. Now, this is just a personal thing that I mention all the time and you're probably reciting it in your head right now, but I am 5'7 and I have size 11 feet. I look ridiculous if I wear skinny pants with a chunky ass shoe like the Air Force One. So all this comes down to is understanding yourself and understanding your specific proportions. Some people just have really broad shoulders and for that, maybe fitted shirts are nice for you. And some people are really skinny with the guts and so you're gonna wanna opt for a more boxy tee. Now, if you're my height and you wear size nine, don't even worry about it. Wear your skinny denim with Air Force Ones. But in general, if you're going to be wearing chunky sneakers, a solid pair of non-skinny fitting pants will help compensate for the chunkiness, making for better proportions. Here's an example of bad proportions. I'm wearing an oversized Carhartt shirt, skinny ass track pants, and Air Force Ones. Now, the Air Force Ones do add enough height to compensate for the length of their shirt, but the skinny track pants and the chunky sneakers, that ain't it. Instead, something like the Nike Lab ACG cargo pants with the Air Force Ones and a boxy shirt from Uniqlo just makes for better proportions. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. This comes down to you. Just look at the mirror and be genuinely honest with yourself if the fit looks right. And that's really it guys. Understanding proportions is the main concept that you wanna grasp whenever it comes to fashion. I personally just ignore colors. I wear whatever color I want, contrasting, monochromatic, whatever it is. Just remember having a good mindset and knowing your shape and proportions is all that really matters. And if you guys want minimal non overcompensating pieces of jewelry, I wanna recommend you guys the sponsor of today's video, Rolls Gold and Black. If you guys haven't heard of Rolls Gold and Black, they make minimal versatile jewelry for men. I've personally been wearing their accessories since 2017 and their pieces are always my go-to if I wanna look good and I don't wanna think too much about what accessories to wear. So Rolls Gold and Black's necklaces are by far my go-to piece whenever I just want to add a nice touch to the fit. They're very minimal and subtle, but it completes the fit and can be worn with almost any outfit. They also have a ton of other accessories like beaded bracelets, rings and all that. But I'm telling you guys, the bang for the buck that you get with the minimal bar necklaces or the geometric ones make them my favorite accessory to wear when I want to add a splash of color or just to have a shine to the fit. So guys, click the link in the description. It's gonna take you guys to my special page. Check them out and let me know if you guys pick up their bar necklaces. And if you guys do, I just wanna thank you guys in advance. It really helps my channel out in the long term. And thank you Rose Gold and Black for sponsoring today's video. All right, fellas, I hope those tips didn't fly over your head. Put your height in your Tinder bio. Life is too short. All right, I'm done. I'm done with these jokes. Follow me on Instagram at Fly with Johnny Ty. Subscribe to the channel, and if you haven't already, turn that like button blue. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. Check out Rose Gold and Black. The cool kids link is down below. I'm out. Peace.